Alright, boom. Welcome back to another FM video. This time it's FM21 and it's our first experiment. So if you clicked on the video, you already know what it's about. But as you can see, we've created a Yusufa Mukoko in the game. So unfortunately, even though he's made his debut last week for Dortmund in the Bundesliga, he was 15 when the game was being created. And if you're 15 when the game is being created, unfortunately, you don't make it into this year's database. He'll definitely be in future databases, maybe the winter update or definitely FM22. But we wanted to have a simulation with him now. So we've created a version of him using an estimated PA and an estimated CA but all the stats have been randomly generated by a football manager based on those and you've removed all the injuries from the game so he shouldn't fall down based on any injuries and all the players around him shouldn't fall down based on any injuries but as you can see the personality that football manager has predetermined for him is fairly determined so he should be going right to the very top of the game and his stats are decent for a youngster Similar to what we see now of him in real life, he will be expected to score a load of goals in the unders and eventually start making his way into the match day squad. But as of all our experiments, we're going to go forward in five to ten year increments and see how his career goes. And then right at the very end, we'll see all the craziness that's gone on in the world of FM21 around him. But without further ado, we're here. The first experiment of FM21. Let's go. So we're back. The date is 1st of July 2025 and we're five years into the simulation. So we're going to check on Makoko and see if he's the star of Dortmund now or he's moved on to find a new team to be the star of. So as you can see, Yusufa Makoko has made the same move that many Dortmund players before him have made. He's walked across the yellow brick road to the red side of Munich and joined Bayern. He is now a star player at 20 years old, valued at 73 million, earning 275k a week. Dribbling 17, finishing 17, first touch 17, composure 16, decision 16, determination 17, physical stats through the roof. He's a wonder kid, preferred foot left as with his real life player, fairly determined still. So in terms of career stats, so his first season in the Bundesliga 2 for Dortmund 2, he dominated as expected, 31 goals in 42 games, 6 assists, 12 player of the matches, dominant. Then the next season he started breaking into the first team squad and he actually scored 15 goals in 19 games. That's insane. At six, what, 16 years old, yeah. Started year at 16, ended 17. Oh, sorry, that's Dortmund 2. <laughs> I'm moving tapped. So for the first team, he played two games, didn't score a goal, two off the bench. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then in the third season, now at 17, 10 and 18, that's when he made his debut. And I think potentially Haaland would have made a move away here this season. So that's why they said, you know what, we need you now. And he delivered. 19 goals in 30 games. Excellent. Season after that, he's now a mainstay in the team. 23 goals. First time he's cracked the 20 mark. 34 games in total. Before Bayern said, you know what? 52 million. Yeah, little bro. We need that player again. Like, same way Lewandowski came. Same way Hummels came. Same way Goetze came. Yeah, we need him, little bro. We'll take him. And for Bayern, he scored 19 goals in 32 games in his first season. Now entering his second season with Bayern, looking to see what he can do now. So in total, the value could go up to 73 million. So it's 37 up front with some potential add-ons. So in terms of notable career milestones, he won the German Under-19 Division 1 twice. German Super Cup winners bought for Bayern. German Super Cup winners and Bundesliga champions in his first season with Bayern. So this is Yusufa Mukoko's biography. So hit pause if you want to read this in full. But the main thing to note here on a personal stage, he won the European Golden Boy twice. So he literally has been the star of Europe for two years in a row. And he also won the European, well runner up in the European Golden Shoe as well. 
World Under-21 Football of the Year and German Football of the Year. So yeah, he's actually won quite a bit on an individual scale. But let's fast forward again and see how he's doing 10 years from now. Alright, boom, we're back again. Date is 1st of July 2035 and we're now 15 years into the simulation. First step. Let's check on Mukoko. So our man Mukoko is now 30 years old and he is playing for Chelsea. So his dribbling, finishing, first touch is still his best technical stats. His composure's improved, the decision making's gone up, determination's gone up slightly and off the ball's still good. Physical stats still strong and he's now an elite striker. And he's professional as well, so his determination's gone up, his mentality's gone up. And he cuts inside from the right wing, which makes sense because he's left footed. But how did he get to Chelsea, earning 400k a week? How did we get here? So in his second season at Bayern, he scored 26 goals in 34 games. So dominant again. Then he got 21 and 33 for Bayern before getting 18 in 34. So probably his worst season statistically since he became a first season, first team player. But Paris Saint-Germain decided to invest in him and took him to the French League for 103 million. So that was all up front, it seems. So they just put the bag and said, yeah, have that. Scored 21 and 37, 22 and 37, and 19 and 36. So again, probably his worst year statistically for PSG is when Chelsea said, you know what, we're gonna spend 132 million on him and buy him. So, so far he's cost 297 million to loads of different clubs. And his first season in the Premiership, struggled a little bit, only 18 and 38, but then he retooled and got back to 20 mark with 20 and 38, 19 and 37, and this most recent season, 21 and 37. So let's see how he's been doing landmark wise. So after his Bundesliga with Bayern, he then won the Super Cup the following season for winning the German Cup to complete the treble at Germany. So he's won everything in Germany. Bundesliga champions again, Super Cup, Bundesliga champions, again, German Cup winner, before being bought by PSG, won the French Cup, the Ligue 1, and the Trophy de Champion, so he won the treble in his first season, then again, won a double in his second season with PSG, before winning another double and going to Chelsea, with Chelsea, he then won the FA Cup, Champions League, Community Shield, and Super Cup as well. So that's a really good start to his Chelsea career before then winning the double or quadruple rather, but I mean a mini quadruple. The Premier League, Champions League, Community Shield and Super Cup. Then the season after that, he won the treble. He won everything in England. So the English quadruple. He won the Carabao Cup, Premier Division, FA Cup and Community Shield. So he's literally been the catalyst for every team's success. Like he's just been winning absolutely everything. So his biography's filled up a great deal now. As you can see, he's now won 29 competitions in total. And on an individual scale, he's won the Bundesliga top goal scorer four times. Obviously he won the European Golden Boy twice. German player of the year three times. European Golden Shoe, he's now won one of those. Forward of the season, Champions League. Foreign player of the year in League R. Best player on three occasions. Top goal scorer in League R, World Football of the Year, World Golden Ball runner up. So he's been close to the Ballon d'Or but not got there yet. And only two third places in the Premier Division top goal scorer. So he's not quite got his Premier Division top goal scorer yet. So interesting to see in the twilight of his career, can he extend that and win the top goal scorer in every division he's played in. So that's the last thing we need to get over the line plus a Golden Ball if we can. But one good season in the Premier League can get you that golden ball. So, Rukoko, we believe in you. Let's fast forward now to the tail end of your career and see if you can get it done. All right, boom. The date is 1st of July 2040 and we are back. Mukoko, how you doing? Let's find out. So, as you can see, Yusufa Mukoko is still at Chelsea. Some of his physical stats have now started to wane. Mentality is still strong. As you can see, he's now a model professional. He didn't pick any more player traits up, which is quite interesting. But 
Technically, he's still a great player. Technique has improved over time. But let's see his stats. So we left him here. The next season after that had a very down year. Only got 15 goals in 38 games. But I think that was a spark plug that said to him, you know what, I need to become a model professional. I need to win this Premier League division top goal scorer. Season after that, 26 goals in 36 games. Will it be enough to win the top goal scorer award though? We will find out soon. But 21 goals in 38 season after that. Then 19 in 37, 18 in 37 at 35 years old. So you can't really complain at that. And now he's obviously in the tail end of his career. Will he stay at Chelsea? Will he move on to another team? Who knows? But so far, it's been an excellent career for Mukoko. It's going to be very interesting to see if this matches up with the real Mukoko in real life. So you pick it up here. The season after they won the quadruple, they only won the Carabao Cup. So a down year for Chelsea. Before they retooled and won every cup competition. So they didn't win the Premier League. But then after another down year in 2013, winning nothing, they came back and won the Premier League and the Community Shield. So he's still adding to his impressive haul of medals. Now let's check on his biography. So the Paris Saint-Germain legend, Yusuf Mukoko, is truly one of football's global superstars. So that's quite interesting that he's a legend for Paris Saint-Germain. So we need to check on that at the end of this simulation to see which clubs he's an icon at, which club he's favoured at, and which club he's a legend at. But 35 trophies in total in his career insane and has he gotten over the line with a premier league top goal scorer award and he did there we go english premier league vision top goal scorer so he done it he's finally done it and football of the year player of the year he's actually just been the best at some point in his career in every league he's played in so he's played in Three of the five top leagues. Like he hasn't gone to Spain. He hasn't gone to Italy. But he's just dominated three of those five. And it's hard to dominate all five. But he's done very, very, very well. So, I mean, there's still a few years left in his legs. Let's see if he moves on to another team. Let's see if he ends his career at Chelsea and becomes a Chelsea legend. Let's push forward. <laughs> all right, boom. We're back again. The date is 1st of July 2044 and this is the end of the simulation. And at 38 years old, Mukoko has decided to retire. So at 38 years old, Yusufa Mukoko has decided to retire. He is a Paris Saint-Germain legend. And after Chelsea, he actually moved to Inter Milan. But he only scored 7 goals in 23 games. So he actually played for Inter for 3 years before retiring so after 35 he left Chelsea did Inter Milan pay for him that is the real question but before we leave here as you can see he's played 761 games in total for six different clubs he's gone 426 goals so he's been an absolute hero absolute hero but let's look at the biography in full so Paris Saint-Germain legend Yusuf Mukoko born in your own day November 20th, 2004, in a playing career which spanned 23 years from 2020 to 2043, he made 700 appearances and scored 380 goals. So they obviously stripped out their Bundesliga two games and goals there. So it looks like he joined Inter Milan for free, but during his tenure with Inter Milan, he managed to win the Champions League again, Italian Cup, Super Cup and Serie A. So he actually won every major league he went to so i'm surprised at that for inter milan they got over the line but that is just crazy he won a phenomenal 40 competitions that is just insane he won bundesliga top scorer on four occasions european golden boy twice european golden shoe twice league on top goal scorer world football of the year twice World Golden Ball twice. So he got over the line in the Golden Ball as well. Premier Division top goal scorer as well. Did he get one in Syria? Uh, no, he wouldn't have done because he only got the seven goals. That's the only blemish on an otherwise nine out of ten career. He couldn't get over the line as a top goal scorer in Syria. Uh, but at, what, 35 years old, it was always going to be a stretch. But he did help shoot them to the Champions League Syria. Uh, and he's been recognised as the best player in the world. This is a legendary career. 
So what we're going to check first, actually, is whether or not he became a legend for all the clubs he played for. So for Dortmund, he's not even favoured. For Bayern Munich, he finds himself in the icon category with the likes of Schweinsteiger, Ribéry, Muller, Lahm. So in great, great company. For PSG, I guess with their perceived lack of history, they have Mukoko as a legend. For Chelsea, he is an icon. And after 23 games for Milan, he's nowhere on the list. So in the Ballon d'Or race, he won it in 2036 with 34 goals in 51 games. And also in 2037, with 41 goals in 64 games, both times for Chelsea. So he got over the line with Chelsea. So in 2020, as you know, no award's been given. Messi then won the award before an Erling Haaland, who moved to Man United hat-trick. Mbappe got one. Haaland again. Then Regents came through in 2028, so eight years into the simulation. Before Haaland... Came in again, more regens before our man Mukoko came through and regens have just been winning away other than that. So in the European Golden Boy, Harlem won in 2020 and 2031. Nasi Unvar, who's a good young prospect for those of you looking for young prospects. For our guy Mukoko won for Dortmund and Bayern. So Bundesliga, top goal scorer. As you can see, Harlem, well, Lewandowski won it, then Harlem, then Isaac before Mukoko won it four years in a row, one for Dortmund and then three for Bayern. And in Ligue 1, first season was won by Moussa Dembele, for Dolberg, Dembele, or Bafemi, interesting, from Southampton. Getting Mbappe, Mbappe, Kone, Salido, before Mukoko then came through and won his two for PSG. So in the first season on this game, Chris Wood comes through and wins, before Callum Wilson and DLC, DCL rather, win. Bernardo Silva won one year with 20, Haaland won, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Regens, Regens. So it took a while before Mukoko finally got over the line with that 26 goals. So he, he won it by five goal margin. So he retooled and showed up and showed out and finally got that one over the line. Then for Mukoko, he got one golden shoe with Bayern Munich in 2025. Then he got his second golden shoe in 2036 when he won the Premier Division golden boot and three times in a row for Chelsea he won the Champions League golden boot so that's everything on Mukoko he's had a 9 out of 10 career he's been absolutely excellent now we're just popping to see some of the craziness and firstly as you can see here Billy Gilmore's manager of Montpellier Jao Mario manager of Portugal Memphis Depay manager of Holland so in terms of the World Cup we've had Holland win one Scotland came twice runners up in 2026 and 2034, and USA got a runners-up medal to Portugal, who got over the line as well. Other than that, we've had normal winners, Spain, Italy, France. So in the Euros, pretty much normal winners, Italy, Holland, Portugal, France and Italy. And in the Nations League, we've had a whole host of winners, Germany winning, Italy winning, England getting over the line and won. Then Spain and France and Holland joining them as well. Then in the Champions League, first season was on by Barcelona. Real Madrid came through, Liverpool came through, City came through, Madrid, City. So a whole host of winners. The most surprising ones, I'd say you'd guess, are Atletico Madrid, who finally got over the line and won. But realistically, it took a while for Bayern to win, but it's just been dominated by the usual suspects. Surprising that Liverpool only got one, but... Usual suspects. No one's eclipsed Real Madrid's record. They've now won it 17 times. But that is it. This is the first experiment on FM21 and I've enjoyed it. Mukoko is going to have an amazing career according to Football Manager and the algorithm. So we're looking forward to see what he can do in real life now. Can he match our 9 out of 10 career that we've simulated? But thank you for joining us again. Leave a comment down below for any more experiments that you want to see. Like, share and subscribe the video if you enjoyed the content. Let's get it out there. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And tune back in for more experiments. I mean, it's going to be a long year with FM21 and we're going to be running loads of different experiments, career simulations, career re-simulations, experiments with different variables. And we're going to see what kind of craziness Football Manager throws our way. But in addition to that, 
We've also got our journeyman save which has started. You can check out a link to the description below to check out episode one. Episode two is coming soon. And keep it locked to Chief for None. We're here all year, boys. Peace. Yeah.